two men now appear to run Kazakhstan. The official leader of the nation, Nursultan Nazarbayev, and his appointee interim president, Kasim Jomart Tokayev. Our main task is to realize the strategy of the leader of the nation in order to strengthen the potential of our state. I firmly believe in the success of our noble endeavor. Tokayev has government resources to boost his chances. Stadiums filled with students and a state-controlled mainstream media. All this stagecraft is designed to show that Kazim Jumot Tokayev is the rightful heir to Nursultan Nazarbayev. His position is an appointment and the people of Kazakhstan are simply expected to endorse that decision. When Nazarbayev resigned in March, Tokayev renamed the capital after him. Some saw that as a sign of subservience. Nur Sultan is not my town. I have a choice, said this activist. Others have called for a boycott of the vote, seeing Tokayev as a stopgap for dynastic succession. As Senate leader, Nazarbayev's daughter, Dariga, is next in line for the presidency. On Friday, police raided homes and detained several activists. The authorities are on high alert. For the first time in almost three decades, the voters will have a choice, or an appearance of choice, at least. But Tokayev failed to show up at this TV debate, a sign he doesn't take the competition seriously. That competition does include a genuine government critic. Amirjan Kosanov may take a share of the vote, but he isn't optimistic. Some voters will boycott the vote, but not those who support Tokayev. I'm afraid these votes will be taken from me by those who are organizing the boycott. Today I ask people to boycott the boycott. Students may vote just as they were required to attend the rally. Off camera, one youth organizer put it this way. Failure to comply means failing your exams. That is the kind of pressure that will benefit Tokayev at the ballot box. Robin Forrestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, Nur Sultan.